soldier's code, right? Never leave a man behind. That's right. Uh, anywhere from Cara D, nope. Soldier's code, leave no man behind. Is that, is that like a question, right? Like a huh? Right. Well, actually, We're not leaving them, right? That's right. Leave no man behind. I've been saying, right? Leave yeah. no man behind, right? You know, like, right. you're double checking. You're not going to, you know. Well, I guess in this case, there's more to it than that. Huh? And that's where the double meaning comes in. In my mind, he's trying to talk his way out around this affair. I mean, you don't leave a man behind. That is true. That's the soldier's code. But it's not purely soldier's code in this case. It's more than well, that. Let's see. It's, it's, it, remember, it starts so there's with an any irony word. to that line. It starts with any word from Kara or D, and you say no. Because I'm avoiding it. Well, there hasn't been, right? We still don't know their fate. No, of course not. Thank you. So, but I'm saying, I, to me, I'm saying, we're, I'm reassuring the soldier's code, right? We're not going anywhere. We leave no man behind. Let's get this man out of the way. He survives the attack on the 12 colonies. The resistance on Caprica, New Caprica. Now he takes a bullet? I saw him coordinating fire for you. He was a good soldier. Worthy of a uniform. Well, what I was saying is I don't like that I have to I have to take second fiddle and allow his wife to stage this rescue mission. That's what I was, at least in that space, I was saying, okay, he did me a solid. We're going after my wife, but I don't like the way we're doing it. I said, I want to take me and my people out and get my own wife. And you guys can do your military thing. So my reference to that was saying I don't like this. Like, you, you're going to be it. a good soldier, We're but gonna you play, I'm going to play yeah. nice. Yeah. I'm taking second because I don't have to take my energy, and I don't like this, but I'll do it. Guys, no, I've tried to let Kara go a million times. I can't do it, you know. You're in love with my wife. We're bonding over the fact that we're both obsessed by this woman. And then I put it to bed with, yeah, but she's your wife. My wife is someone else. Just to paraphrase it for a second, what you're saying to him is... Listen, she, yeah. she's, she's poison when she gets under your skin, you know. But you know that. She, she's, <laughs> what you're really saying is Kara's your problem. But no, I'm not I saying could... that. I'm saying I'm not in love with her. But it's complicated. It's like poison, you know, it gets in your veins, you know that better than anybody else. Well, Kara's your wife, Sam. Anastasia's mine. Who? Because if we do come clean and honest with each other, we're going to find out that we both love the same woman. And we might drink a couple of beers over it, but we'll get drunk and we'll be a headbutter too. Yeah. You yeah. might laugh for a while, yeah. then it's not funny. It's a, it's you have a, to deal with it. Yeah, it's a, it's a little... Uh, sorry to be dropping pretentious references, but there's that Browning poem where it's like, you know, she, she did smile too fondly, and it's about a guy showing, you know, yeah, I had my wife killed, and it, basically, well, a poem about a guy having his wife killed. You know that poem? Well, soldier's code, right? Leave no man behind. That's right. It's a little different in these circumstances, though, isn't it? I get it.